Some people get nervous when they hear the word minimalism. In fact, maybe that's you. When you hear the word minimalism, do you think of harsh rules, strict guidelines, empty house, boring life? If that's you, I want to encourage you today to think about it differently. So let's start there. Minimalism isn't about throwing away every single item in your home. That is not the case at all. Minimalism is about living with less. But as I often say, less is different than none. Minimalism is the intentional promotion of the things we most value by removing anything that distracts us from it. It's about living with what we need, and that is going to look different from one person to another and one household to another. I mean, if you were to walk into my home today, you might not immediately assume that a minimalist family lives there. For starters, there are four of us, and we all live under the same roof. In our living room, you would find seating for five. You would find a coffee table, a rug, family photo, clock on the wall, a television. In our coat closet, you would find jackets and baseball caps and shoes. You would find some winter accessories on the top shelf. In our kids' room, you would find books and craft supplies, desk. You would find some decorative items that they picked out themselves. Our house is tidy and clutter-free most of the time, but it is certainly not empty. We are seeking to live a minimalist life, but at the same time, we're living and breathing and changing and growing. And to live is to consume at some level. But we have worked hard to escape excessive consumerism and owning things that we don't need. And so that's what I mean by the term rational minimalism. It is a strategic approach to owning less. I don't advocate getting rid of everything humanly possible just for the sake of getting rid of everything. I don't talk about rules and guidelines. Instead, I encourage people to get rid of what isn't necessary so they can better pursue greater goals and purposes in life. The process requires rationality and intentionality and mindfulness and thoughtfulness. Take my life, for example. We live in the suburbs of Phoenix. I have two teenage kids. We're active in our community. We like to entertain and show hospitality. We host small groups from our church in our living room. We love when our kids have their friends over, even stay the night. I'm a writer. My wife handles the bookkeeping. Our life is not identical to anybody else. It is ours, nobody else's. And so if we were going to become minimalist, it would require us to be thoughtful to find a specific style that would work for us. One that would allow us to pursue our passions, promote our values, and discard all the distractions along the way. The minimalism that works for us is almost certainly different than the minimalism that is going to work for you. So find a style of minimalism, a rational one that works for you, not cumbersome, but freeing. Not owning nothing in your home, but owning just what you need. I'm passionate about my soul, my faith, my family, influencing others. This is what I want more of in my life and minimalism allows that to happen. It removes physical distractions so I can pursue greater things in life and minimalism can do the exact same for you. So don't make the mistake of thinking that you have to live with nothing. Live with what you need to pursue your greatest passions and pursuits in life. This is a rational approach to owning less. This is what rational minimalism is. You will love it and you will end up accomplishing more in your life than you ever thought possible.